We are underway at the JMA Wireless Dome, this historic rivalry. Brian Earls, Big Red. Dolan. Outside, Nazir Williams will try it and hit from three. Yeah, they're just under, you know, they're just under 12 a game. Second in the nation and three quarters made. 41 wins in a row for Syracuse in the series as once again another three from Isaiah Gray. Those looks have been easy. Syracuse, when they're pressuring your point guard, Biggs always a tough to come back, set a screen, free up the ball here. Mintz gets the bucket as that one climbs up the rim and drops home. Big didn't show on the ball screen, allowed Judah Mintz just to get downhill, get to the rim and lay it up. Feed down low, the layup is in from Sean Hansen. Oh, he followed jam off the miss by Bell. Benny Williams couldn't get that one to go. Oh, what a block on the other end as Dolan tried to lay it up. Bell comes in, have himself a block party here early. Great transition, defense getting back. Nothing upsets Coach Beheim even more than rebounding out of the zone. Most teams are afraid of it. As a staple in Syracuse's program is you have to rebound in their zone. Dolan buries it. 59% is hard to do alone in the gym, let alone in a game. Gerard from the wing, he answers. So Gerard with a three to cut it back to a four-point game. Another rebound, a scramble for Cornell. Locked in down low as Kane drops it in. So Chris Kane missed a couple of free throws, redeems himself. It looks like they're open, but they don't realize it at times. Well, again, this zone does move quite a bit. You know, they're not just a traditional 2-3 zone. I often tell people this Syracuse zone is often imitated. They're at their best when they force turnovers within their zone and get out and the guards get out and get in transition. The three from the top of the arc is in from Benny Williams. The ball movement from Cornell, seven to shoot. Outside, high arcing Rainmaker, three is in from Sean Hansen. Gets it back from Mintz, shot clock to seven. Four to shoot, down to two. Torrance, got it. Can't be afraid, I thought he was open early in the shot clock, turned down one. They gotta step up and take and make shots. Manning, the dish, and the layup is missed by Hanson. He got it back, though, somehow. Boothby three. That's good. Guy shoots it that well for his career. You definitely need to know where he is at all times. But you see they're so spread out right now because of the ability to shoot the ball. They're just looking around, looking at each other, thinking, I can't leave my area because I got to shoot. Turnover committed there by the Big Red. I believe Cooper Nord stepped out of bounds on the sideline on that three attempt. Gerard leaning in and scoring. To get the ball to score, he goes off the glass to get his shot and drew a foul there. Nice inbounds play and the drop and the bucket for Malik Brown. Seven point game with seven minutes left to go before halftime. Gerard over Manning, connects. He's in a zone right now, he's really feeling it. But again, able to get the loose ball. Manning drives in and lays it in, Chris Manning Got a seam and got a bucket. Six-point lead for the Big Red. Now outside, Mintz. He misses. Tipped around. Right in the hands for Brown and a dunk. Outside to Manning. This Boothby. is the pace Cornell wants to play at. Hanson. Watson. Bucket. Three-point shooting is just not his strength. He's at 17% coming in. What range. That's... A deep three from the Zero Williams. Miscues on Cornell's ability to take advantage of it and get to the glass is disappointing them a little bit. They're gonna need him to get going and get going. Six point game with Metz. Picking his way to the lane, throws it up and in. What a move by Judah Metz. Now, to look how far out the catching hit the logo at half court now to get that reversal. In. Gray from the corner drills it. Isaiah Gray with a three-pointer. Cornell has carried the action for much of the half here. Gerard drawing so much attention. Bell with a contested three over Keller Boothby to draw it within one possession. It's a three-point game. 
That basketball tend to give you energy on the offensive end. Super size three from Watson, no good. The follow is from Keller Boothby. Another offensive rebound for the Big Red. Gerard got it. Heat check. Gerard's on fire right now. Foul line J is short from Nazir Williams and a rebound taken by Edwards. Bell. Euro in the lane, lays it in, and the Cuse on top for the first time. And now the ball is just moving around the perimeter. It's got to get to that spot right there. Williams, down to seven to shoot. The reverse layup is blocked by Edwards. Had a finals break after their game against Miami, the two-point loss. Williams, three is good. Nazir Williams cans a three-pointer. Down low, Edwards, turn around, shot, flips it up and in. All day, been waiting on him to get that done in the second half. Trying to do something they haven't done in about 60 years, and that's beat an ACC team. Their last win against an ACC team came in the 51-52 season against Wake Forest as Williams goes glass. Williams with the bank shot, getting himself going. Quick three here, whoa. A quick three, a long three, and a good three for Nazir Williams. As well as he's having to guard Gerard or Judah Mintz. And it's just guarding talented offensive players like that. Benny Williams with the dunk. Kind of begging, getting super aggressive, asking for the next one. And they get in the officials up. Obliged them. 16 fouls already for Cornell as Bell continues his strong play. The lead is at nine. Now this is what you can't have if you serve Q's defense because eventually they're going to make some. You're giving up four or five offensive rebounds in this possession alone. Raglan staying alive, blocked at the rim by Brown. Cornell's going cold from behind the line here. And a steal by Gerard, three on one. The lob and the hand. Hello. who are shooting 9 of 35 from deep. So the good news is they've hit their season average in terms of three-point attempts. The bad news is they haven't dropped in a while. That drop there for Judah Mintz. Against the smaller of the wings. And with Benny Williams on one side and Malik Brown there. Benny on cue. Must have heard me talking about him. He's the ACC leader in block shots. He's got it here. Throwing it down. They were down by 21 against Miami before storming back, and they had a shot to potentially tie the game or win it late. Mintz lobs it again. Wow! A powerhouse dunk. Just dominating this second half, helping Cuse to get up by 20. Bell. Jumper, knocks it down. Smooth mid-range jump shot there. Just getting to his spots. So cutting Williams. His floater's no good. Dolan. Now Manning from deep. That's good. That's just a basketball guard. Williams gets a step. The floater is blocked by Jesse Edwards. I mean, a fastball coming out of there. I mean, it has some heat on it. Looks like the fans are okay over there. They're joking and laughing about it. One to shoot, and the shot is in. Ten seconds to shoot. Dolan trying to find some room. Foul line J is good. They'll give you that shot all game long. Well, I told him I would have loved to play for him. Yeah, you know, I, I, I told him that I would have flat out loved to play for him. I mean, the way he lets his guys play and get up shots. Raglan for three. Got three. Five to shoot for Mintz. Mintz, floater, got it. That's such a difficult shot there by the freshman. It's just no one touches the ball. He dribbles out the clock, but he's efficient enough to get to a spot and make some basket. Keller Boothby from the corner. Hard to believe at one point, if you're just hopping into this game, that Cornell was actually in front by 11 in the first half. And credit to Malik Brown. His minutes have just been great. Hanson tries to fake out the defense. Can't do it there. Gets it back. Puts it in. Double team. Head to Bell. Bell. The lob for Edwards. Two more. 
Edwards gets the jump, the, the dump there, but great job by Samir. And that should be the tie for the program record for three-point attempts down the floor to Williams. Williams hopping in the lane, banks it in. Nice finish by the sophomore from St. Andrews High School. Joe Girard, now Williams, his jumper's no good. The rebound control by DJ Nix, who's into the game for the first time. Cooper Nord, the three is in. A lot of folks coming into this game, there was definitely some concern about the Cornell Big Red dealing with Syracuse. And there you go, Jesse Edwards gets the double-double. He and Malik Brown controlling the inside has been a big help to Syracuse, kind of pushing away. A block down low by Edwards, and that will do it. An emphatic end to a comeback by the Syracuse Orange.